everyone, welcome back to Sony Sunshine. I'm Lisa, Harriet's away at the moment, so me and the team are going to do some videos for you, showing you different fabrics, mainly our favourite ones, and what we'd like to make out of them. Thank you so much for all your orders this week, it's always so great to get them, and we love seeing your fabrics and packing them up and what you're going to make with them. So my first pick is this uh, rayon from the Rifle Paper Go Holiday Collection, it's quite a mouthful. It's the Ponsettia one. And it might be a wee bit early about thinking about Christmas, but I love Christmas, so I'm going to make a Christmas dress. Uh, so I thought it would look really nice as the Wrigley's dress from Deer and Doe. Um, both versions are really nice, I think they're really cute. Um, but I thought I'd also show you some buttons as well. Um, so we've got a couple of different, actually we've got more than a couple of different, we've got quite a few um, independent button makers that we stock. Uh, one is from my friend Louise. Uh, so she makes these resin buttons by hand um, and these ones are the small confetti candles black and white ones and you get eight in a pack and I thought these would look nice because they're kind of clear behind it so be really cute and then the other ones are um, these Pure Shores shell buttons from Pigeon Wishes which would be really cute. So this is the next one. This is uh, came in this week actually. It's from the new Fabric Godmother collection. It's called Bet. It's a viscose twill and it's really kind of nice and heavy so it's good for kind of autumn and going into winter which is great. Um, I just really love the bright colours on the black background. I think it's really nice. And I was thinking the world are going but I'm going to hack it a wee bit. So I saw this dress I think uh, somewhere online. I watch a lot of YouTube sewing videos so I think it's from that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the funnel neckline and I'm going to put an elastic channel around the top and I'll cut the front on the fold because there's actually a seam here so you can put the put the tie through and then I'm not sure, I think I might make it so it's going to be just one longer tier rather than the three, not sure yet and then um, I might open up the sleeve a little bit so I can make it a little bit puffy but I think that'll be really nice and really nice to layer up with a nice warm cardigan for the winter. The next uh, few fabrics I'm going to show you is I've put them together as outfits because I thought that would be kind of nice so you could see them, what they would look like if you were going to put them together. Um, so this one, we don't have the pattern in stock. It's a company called uh, Make My Lemonade. They're a French brand. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They do um, ready to wear and they also do patterns for all, most of their ready to wear clothes as well and the prints and the fabrics they're just the colors they're just so great so go check them out if you don't know who they are uh, so I was thinking of doing the Hedwig um, I think it's like dungarees overalls they've got a sweetheart shape Jenny will put a photo of the pattern in so you can see what I'm talking about and I thought I'd make it in this uh, really nice um, it's quite a bright gold colour, we call it autumnal gold stretch needle cord on the website, so that would be really great. And it's got a wee bit of stretch to it, so it'll make the dungarees a bit more comfy too, to wear, which is always nice. Room for cake, so that's good. Uh, so there's that. And I thought I could pair the needle cord uh, with this cotton lawn from Lady McElroy, which is called We Are Sunflowers, and I would make um, this excellent blouse in it. So it's from the Liberty Fabrics uh, pattern range. It's the Thea Boho sleeve shirt. And I'd obviously make this one with the big sleeve because why wouldn't you? Go big or go home. And uh, I think it would just look really great layered underneath the um, dungarees. And my uh, next two, uh, well, my next combination of fabrics is going to be uh, this lovely viscose fabric, uh, which is called Carmine. It's got really nice uh, floral print on it. On it has got a black background, but it's only a little bit, so I don't think it's really overpowering and I would like to make the Nina Lee Parkley dress out of it. I think it's just such a lovely dress, it's got quite a relaxed fit, you can layer it up with tights and stuff, so you can wear it all, all year round, which would be great. Always good to have a versatile wardrobe. And I thought this would make a really nice cardigan to go with it, and this is the soft is it soft peach viscose knit on a fabric and it's really really lovely and soft and I thought the Fjord Cardi by Papercut Patterns would be a really nice one to make out of this it's kind of like a loose kind of slouchy slouchy fit and I think slouchy cardigans or dresses are nice for the autumn and winter 
And lastly, I've got these two burgundy fabrics and I kind of thought this would kind of make a fancy, a relatively fancy outfit. Uh, this is um, the burgundy, it's cotton bamboo ribnet and it's really, really nice and soft and I thought it would be really nice as the True Bias uh, nickel dress. I would make it with sleeves just because I'm always cold and we're going into autumn and winter so I'd stick sleeves on it uh, and I thought it would be really nice underneath a blazer and I thought this would be nice because it's a cotton linen canvas, it's from Rifle Paper Co. It's got a really long name, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to look at the other screen to read it. And it's uh, the Juliet Rose Burgundy Garden Party <laughs> uh, one. And I just think this would make such a nice soft jacket, which would be good because you could still wear your coat over the top because, you know, I like to wear my entire wardrobe in the winter. Let's stay warm. <laughs> and I thought either the Friday Pattern Company Heather Blazer would look really nice in this because that's such a relaxed kind of jacket or um, this one is from Nina Lee and this is just a bit if you want a challenging make this is a really nice one to sew I've made it a couple of times it's got a nice welt pocket and it's got a lining this one I don't think the Heather Blazer is lined so um, that's something to bear in mind when you're thinking about the jackets uh, so yeah I just think that these would make a really nice outfit together Thanks for watching everybody, um, one of the other team members will be back next week with their picks. Um, if you like this video and you like our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you all very soon. Thank you! Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below.